Hello friends, this video on linear equation in two variables part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand the equation of line parallel to x and y axis. Let's draw a line that is parallel to y axis. Any, any line. This is one of the line. You can also draw a line anywhere. So if you see the points here, the point, see this point is what? x is 3, y is 0. See this point, this is x is 3, y is 1. See this point, this is x is 3, y is 3. See this point, x is 3, y is 4. This point, x is 3, y is 5. This is 3, comma minus 2, 3, comma minus 4. So if you see all these points, so x is always 3 and y is any real number. So you can write a general form as 3, comma r. It has so many solutions. And this is nothing but x is equal to 3. But we have seen, note here that, we have seen that when you plot this x is equal to 3 in a number line, you get a unique solution. For example, if there is a number line, 1, 2, 3, we plot this point, this is a unique solution in the number line. But the same equation if you are plotting in this coordinates, x and y coordinates, is a line. It has so many solutions, x is equal to 3 has so many solutions. Right? That's why you are plotting, that is because you are plotting in x and y coordinates, so y can have any number, y is actually independent of this. Okay, so 3 comma r is a typical solution for this equation. r can have any, any real number. Okay, if you see in this case, the value of x is constant, y varies. And this is nothing but line that is parallel to y axis. y is variable, line parallel to y axis. And we have told you that in the linear system, uh, linear equation one variable, that uh, linear equation one variable has unique solution. But that is in the case of number line. If you plot this in the case of number line, it has unique solution. But if you plot the same equation in this Cartesian system, you'll see that it has infinite number of solutions. So this is why, because if you are treating this equation as one linear equation one variable, you'll plot in number line. If you are treating this equation as linear equation in two variables, you will plot in the Cartesian system. Don't get confused here, please very, pay attention here, very important concept. This is just a linear equation. If you are assuming this to be a linear, linear equation in one variable, plotting this in the number line, you will get a unique solution. But if you are assuming this is a linear, linear equation in two variables and plot in the Cartesian system, you will get infinite number of solutions. 3 comma r, where x r can be any real number. Right? This is for the line which is parallel to y-axis. Let's take one which is parallel to x-axis. Let's draw a line which is parallel to x-axis. So if you see the point for this, this point is what? x is 0, y is 3. This point is what? 3 comma 3. This point is what? x is 6, y is 3. This point is what? Let's suppose minus 1 comma 3. Let's take this point. This point is minus 4 comma 3. Let's take this point. Minus 6 comma 3. So if you see there, the y part is always 3, but the x part is very. Right? So general form can be r comma 3 in this case. And this line is parallel to x axis, where y is constant, y is constant, y is constant, and x coordinates is a variable. x can be any real number. Same thing, if you consider this to be a linear equation one variable, it will have one solution in the number line. Okay. So this will be the one solution in number line. But if you consider this to be a linear equation in two variable, it will have infinite number of solutions. Okay. Let's take one example where we have to geomet uh, give the geometric representation of y is equal to 3 as an equation in one variable and in two variable. So for one variable, we have to assume this has to be a, we have to represent this in the number line. So y is equal to 3, if you see this is the point, so this is the representation of y is equal to 3 in one variable. If you want to represent in two variable, so y is equal to 3 is this point. Even in this point, if you see, there's a y is equal to 3. In this point also, y is equal to 3, right? And if you draw this, this is a line parallel to x axis. y is equal to any constant is a line parallel to x axis. 
So in two variable system, this is how will you plot it. Similar question, we have, we have this equation given and we have to represent this in the number line and in the Cartesian plane. So this equation can be further uh, solved, 2x plus 1 is or simplified. This will give you x is equal to minus 4. If x is equal to minus 4, I can actually plot this in the number line. If you want to plot in the Cartesian plane, x is equal to minus 4 is this point. This is also one point. x is equal to minus 4, y is equal to let's suppose 4 is another point. x is equal to minus 4, y is equal to 2 is also another point. So you see, you join these points, you will get a line that is not drawn correctly. It has to be parallel. Yeah. It is parallel to y axis. x is equal to any constant is a equation that is parallel to y axis. So x is equal to minus 4 is a line which is parallel to y axis in the Cartesian plane. Okay. Similar equation, we have to represent this as an equation in one variable and two variables. So x is 2x plus 9 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 9 by 2. So minus 9 by 2 is uh, minus 4.5 somewhere here. So this will be the solution for this in one variable. For two variables, x is equal to minus 9 by 2 is somewhere here is one option where y is equal to 0 and this is also one option where y is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus uh, 9 by 2 there are so many options right if you join these points you will get a line that is parallel to y axis okay so with this our summary is that we have seen that any equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is a linear equation in two variables where a, b, c are real numbers and a and b both should not be zeros. Okay. And a linear equation can have infinite solutions. We have seen that if we draw a line for a linear equation, you have infinite number of solution. The graph of every linear equation in two variables is a straight line. Any graph if you draw will be a straight line. Okay. It has to be a straight line x is equal to 0 is the equation of y axis if you see this this x is equal to 0 is this, equation, this line and y is equal to 0 is this line you can just try plotting it x is equal to 0 for example y you can take any values so you'll get all these points you'll merge these points you'll get this line similarly y is equal to 0 x you can take any values right so you'll merge these points you'll get this line Okay, the graph of x is equal to a is straight line parallel to y axis. We have seen this, so many examples with this. And similarly, the graph of y is equal to a any constant, where a is any constant is straight line parallel to x axis. Okay, and y is equal to mx is a type of line which is nothing but, uh, which represents the line that's passing through origin because there is no constant here. So we have seen that y is equal to kx kind of line, right? y is equal to 5x is something which we have seen. And these kind of line actually passes through origin. Okay, and every point on the graph of the linear equation in two variables is the solution of this linear equation. So, for example, there's a line, this line. So, every point on this line is nothing but solution for this equation for which you have drawn this graph. Okay, also, every solution of the linear equation is nothing but a point on the graph. They are Dependent on each other. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.